This is Karen Ranzi, and I'm at the Woodstock Fruit Festival 2014. I'm sitting here with David and Bridget and Iliam, uh, and we're talking about healthy lifestyle. And uh, they've come to the Woodstock Fruit Festival as vegans, but uh, we've been talking about their transition. Um, and how they got there. And um, I know that, Bridget, that you, uh, the two of you, David and Brigitte, you met um, online yep. through Facebook, but you actually went to school together. Yes. So interesting. Yeah. And yeah. She found, she found me. Right. And it was actually, you know, you were interested because you saw that he was vegetarian. No, not for, no, it wasn't. Not at first sight. Mm -hmm. We did just discovered after a while that we were both like not eating meat. Oh, okay. So it didn't start out that way. Yeah. It was yeah. a state of mind. We were discussing books about mm. spirituality and uh, okay. you know uh, how to uh, get involved in life. You know, not being just uh, stage and do what you like in life. Mm -hmm. And eventually, we. I mean, she knew that I was vegetarian, kind of. You know, I I, I really enjoyed the. Uh, uh, you know, uh, salads and things like that, but I was still eating some, some fish. And uh, she was, she had the experience of being fully vegan, uh, almost totally raw also. Mm -hmm. So she, uh, she gave me some pointers and uh, after reading a, a good book about uh, vegetarian and, and vegan, actually, and I, I figured that... Uh, and what was that book? Uh, it was uh, Eating Animals. Eating Animals. And uh, it opened my eyes, uh, especially on the on the fish side, since I was still eating fish. And uh, I told her that uh, the next step would be uh, to, to start uh, without fish anymore, you know, just mm -hmm. go completely raw or vegan. And uh, mm -hmm. she gave me some, some pointers on, on how to, uh, to feed myself properly also. Mm. I didn't impose anything. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And so how long have each of you been vegan, not eating any animals or animal products? Well, we're maybe uh, we we've been together for more than three years and a half now, yeah. almost four. Yeah. So it was and maybe three years. Sometimes for social, social reason, we mm -hmm. we had some little piece of cheese mm -hmm. because when you it's easier to have uh, people at home if you have a small piece of cheese. Mm -hmm. Everybody feels more comfortable. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bridget is a, is a real uh, good cook, and she's going to create some, some of those uh, plates that people have never tasted. And mm -hmm. they, eventually, they ask her questions about it. Yes. Back later on, they're like, how, how did you do this? And uh, she, mm -hmm. she's got a, a little blog, too, and she posts pictures of, uh, of our, our late uh, dinner with the big salads and, uh, and nuts, and uh, she gets a lot of uh, questions by, by friends. Yeah. People with, with children also asking how to get uh, their the little ones to start eating more vegetables, more fruits, you know, little mm -hmm. tricks. And, Great. Uh, that's something that uh, really uh, stands out all of her, yeah. her talent there. Mm -hmm. really and so, um, so it's more recent then that you've come to Raw Vegan. Yeah. And um, I'm not surprised <laughs> since it seems like you go with your intuition and what works best and what works best in the body yes. and learning more about the human and the digestion and yeah. all of that you just naturally gravitate I know for myself um, I've been vegetarian for 43 years and then went to vegan 25 years ago and then raw vegan 20 years ago and so um, David you said that you went from fish to um, very satisfying large sa large salads yeah. for a dinner meal. Exactly. That, those are the combinations of all the, the, the fruits together. Mm -hmm. Most people are usually used with a, a salad, a few vegetables here and there. But mm -hmm. Bridget would show me that adding special nuts together, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and combining all of these would, would create a, a perfect meal for, for a body like mine, you know, as, mm -hmm. a, as a guy. Uh, yeah. I train a lot too, and uh, I wanted to make sure that you know my other lifestyle, uh, which was a lot of proteins, uh, would still you know work out, and I wouldn't you know feel uh, uh, less energized or uh, you know wouldn't be able to do my exercises anymore. But I, I'm I'm performing really well, and now every time I tell uh, you know I tell somebody that uh, I'm, I'm eating you know vegetables and fruits and, and nuts, they're all you know surprised because you know, they don't yeah. they don't believe me or. They, and then they start and they asking do, questions. And they do, and you, you 
friend the they don't believe you because he's having like good muscles. Yeah. So they don't believe that he's not eating meat. Right. I'm like, you don't need to eat meat to have muscles, you know? Exactly. In fact, you can have really healthy muscles. There's so many vegan bodybuilders here yeah. eating fruit, living on fruit, yeah, yeah. and getting their calories from fruit. Yeah. So uh, that's just totally a myth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I see you're practicing attachment parenting, Bridget. Yeah. That's wonderful. And so um, you were telling me that um, when you're at home, you sleep with your baby. Yeah. And you've been doing skin-to-skin -skin contact, yeah. holding your baby, yeah. and long-term nursing? Yeah, long-term. I hope I can nurse until two, at least. <laughs> at least. That's what <laughs> yeah. I recommend as a minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I also recommend child-led weaning. Yeah. But I don't, mm -hmm. I don't see why it wouldn't work because mm -hmm. I have plenty of milk. I have mm -hmm. a baby that wants mm -hmm. to breastfeed. Yes. So. Of course. Yeah, yeah. It's special these days. We feel like he's he's asking for it a lot more. Even mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the, the the extra fruit that we're eating here all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, he likes the taste of that. And, I just uh, think that it. as a raw vegan mom, that you have amazing milk, and it's probably <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> yeah. It's abundant in fruits and minerals. You know the vitamins in the fruit and the vitamins, minerals, and protein and the leafy greens that you're eating. Just getting everything that the baby needs. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's so lucky. great to meet both of you. It's been nice meeting you too. And um, you said that you have a blog, Bridget. Yeah, I, I, I did start a, a little blog uh, two, three years two ago. Two years ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because people were, were always asking me questions and recipe. So I mm -hmm. said, no, David told me because he's working in web. So he told me, why don't you do like a blog so you can mm -hmm. post everything so people can go on your blog and have the answers they need or ask you questions or mm -hmm. something like that. So I made like a um, Facebook page okay. and now I'm working on a, a, a blog, you know, that will more be like I want, you know, give more information because by the time I'm reading more and more and more, so I have right. more information to share with people. Yes. And I love some of our friends are getting... And so what is your Facebook page? Uh, Vigesante.com. It's a French French page. Yeah, that's ca. Yeah. Okay. On Facebook, if you look for Vigesante, which is a French term, they're gonna find you're gonna find the the profile page, and then her blog is gonna be Vigesante.ca. Yeah, and I'm happy because because of that page and some people, some friends of us, and people that we met at the gym anywhere are becoming like vegan because they ask me question how can I start being vegan so I help them and it makes me happy because it's like wow I'm I'm helping people people to be like healthier and mm -hmm. do what they want because I didn't ask him hey become a vegan they come to me and ask me I would like to become a vegan like you and David so what can mm -hmm. I do so I just love it right so that's why I want to give more and more and more because it's make me happy yes more, it's more. all about giving the right information and yeah. setting a powerful healthy model yeah, exactly. and eating the fruits that we were the fruits and the vegetables that we're meant to eat and yeah, yeah. people will come naturally when exactly when you, you you're a model for them in a way you know they look at you and they you feel like you're healthy and you're doing good then uh, they, they just come to you it's it's not about you know pushing people into it or getting Definitely you know, not. Eat meat. It's just being an example there, and, yeah. and they'll come to you, and it's the best way to uh, influence and then get yeah. into a. a I mission agree. Also. I agree. I used to be very adamant with people about, you know, I'd see them in the supermarket and tell them, "Oh, you can't eat that white bread." <laughs> <laughs> but um, the more that you just set the model and let people come to you with questions, that's yeah. really the right way. Yeah. Well. Thank you for being wonderful parenting models. Thank you Pleasure. so much. Pleasure. Thanks to you. Okay.